This is our holiday box. Black Friday is here. Used to be $70, now it's 40% off. You got two for love and two for money. Depends on your intention. Go check it out. There's beaded bracelet, crystals, points, the works. Limited stock, get it. Okay, Saji, so what you guys have seen there is just uh, the works for the Black Friday. I put it in the down there. You will see my personal favorite, of course, is the money magnet. Okay. <laughs> Does it say it all? <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on with you guys. I want to I wanna change the deck. I'll use this one I use because I love using this. So I'll use this for the Q&A. And then I'll keep this uh, for the element reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on for my Sag. Oh, Sag, before I start the reading. Um, so I've been moving stuff, you know, meaning the, we're moving warehouse and all these things. So this is so one of the uh, crystals that I have. And I was uh, uh, I was looking at it. It's like, oh, you know what? Um, instead of the carrying it, I feel like I just probably would let it go already. Like it serves its purpose for me. And I believe that crystal has its life. Uh, how do you call this? Like... um. It has its own lifespan when, like, I don't, like, relationship-wise with them. So, I feel like I'm ready to let go of this one. I'll put it in the description box below. It's my very own. It's um, exactly from the house and the warehouse and then the house. Exactly at the studio right now. But do check it out. It has helped me. Um, well, I put this more of, like, protective energy in front of my doorway. So, that's what I use it for. And... Um, it's just a wonderful geode um, slice also here. Okay. So this sphere, it's amethyst. So do check it out. Okay, I'll put it there. And oh, and sir, so I put it a, like, I believe like like 50 or something, 60% discount. Just check it there. Okay. Because it's, I can't remember. Anyway, let's begin. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Let's see. What do you have for me, Sag? Okay. Alrighty. All right. Your card is here. Eight of Wands. That's you. Mm -hmm. That's very you. Now, of course, I don't see it here, but I see like somewhere there's going to be like a huge earthquake. It's a like huge, like totally, I don't know, seven, like on a magnitude, uh, sort of magnitude or a scale, like seven I'm hearing. Uh, well, hopefully everyone is safe. As I see something shaking, something like a big tremor, like that. Uh -huh. So coming back to the read, um, eight of wands, Sag, seven of pentacles. Um, I feel like you're still waiting for this person to communicate to you, open up their feelings, share their emotions, and, you know, like, you want them to be more available for, um, let's just say, like, um, like, to you, you. Does it make sense? Like, how about me? This is what, because this is what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Pentacles. There's a part of you that you're wondering, like, where are you placed in this person's life? Seven of Pentacles and then the Eight of Wands. So you want this person to come through, right? Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I want this person to come through. I want things to be okay. I want things to, you know, kind of like get just get back on the same pace or same same road route route. Okay. Um, Seven of Pentacles. Um, invested. Like you ain't going nowhere, Sag. I don't. I don't think so. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is a card of like. You see, like, all this investments, but you're not going to give one more, though. There's six of pentacles here, um, three, and then three over here, which means prior to this, you have exhausted your resources, time-wise, money-wise, effort, love, you know, you've given it all. And then now it's a matter of, like, what about me, right? And that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Okay. Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is a card of like, you want to break free from this. It's like, I don't want to wait for this person anymore. And you have this whole truth, like Ace of Swords, like, okay, movement, like you want things, okay, with the Ace of Swords, you want things to manifest, you want things to, I feel like to progress, like, I don't want to wait, so I should progress, like, this is dumb. 
This is what you're saying because the Ace of Swords is like you have this whole like vision of yourself and how you can make it because this is like a bright shiny sword which is like you look at yourself it's like I have potential. Why am I doing this to myself, right? Oh, definitely like Gorge. Yes, she is slaying and she's not even part of Santa's, Santa's sleigh. Empress over here is a card of... um. Uh, refine, uh, refinement and retuning as an empress. From what I'm seeing here is that you are seeing yourself now in a better light. Mm, I told you, it's like there's something about you that is glowing, Sag. And you have the glow up with the empress. So the works, you already did the works, okay? Oh, all right. Oh, all right. It's a good day, bad day. Good day, bad day. Good day, terrible day. Good day... What the F day? Good day. Dang day. <laughs> so this is where you get torn. Okay. You've done the whole skincare glow up. Okay. You've done the haircut, the spa, the, re the rest and relaxation and rejuvenation. You've done the hyaluronic acid, the salicylic acid, the HA, the BHA. So all the actives you already did. Uh, if you don't know, active ingredients like skincare, stuff like that. So you've done all those, and yet you feel like broken with the Ten of Swords. So you're, right now you're saying to yourself, it's like, when can I catch a break? Because mm -hmm. the only thing I catch here is pain, so Ten of Swords. I see, you know, like you still want to have some sort of like, I don't know, closure or something that you want from them. Because Five Pentacles is needy, you have the Seven of Pentacles, you feel taken advantage, of course. You're not trying to square this, meaning you're not trying to get even with them. I don't see that. But you just feel like, how could I have, and like, what happened? Why did we end this connection? And, you know, like, you feel like it's a missed opportunity to some extent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, the never-ending apology. This is what I'm seeing for you, okay? So you have the moon, the king of wands, and then the page of swords. So your person right now is looking at different excuses because the, the, the moon is, of course, is hidden. The king of wands, there is this whole, like, my way or highway, Sag. This is them. And they're looking at it, it's like, did I do wrong? They're internalizing, that's fine. But on their end they feel that well you walk away sag so you need you know when to where to come back or how to come back eight of cups to the nine of cups over here um it feels like a it feels like your person wants to approach you but they've been ignoring you this is what i feel be Cancer and be Aries over here, get Libra and Taurus over there. It feels like instead of really expressing like how, let's just say how sorry they are, they're even making it to a point where it's like, I'm just going to ignore the Sag, like whatever. And then the moon, of course, is waxing and waning. It's a chase from what I'm seeing here. They don't expect you to chase them. But um, from what I'm seeing is like, From what I'm seeing with the moon and the king of wands, it's like your person can be one of those toxic masculinity. Like they want to play tough, they want to play strong, you know, and they want to, they're actually difficult to handle, you know, because they, they look at their emotional needs first, not even yours. They can look at their pain, but not yours. They understand how much you need, but they still didn't care. Very toxic there. Mm -hmm. Very toxic. Can be younger water sign also. So this person, I feel like, has a lot. Uh, uh, there, there's still uh, what do you call it? Room for growth on them. Okay. So this is still them. And then let's do your grand review. Let's answer questions. Okay. 
Now, the moon, there's always a darker side. Or if there's something hidden, this is this one. And let's see. If they have hidden stuff from you, let's see that. Now, they have a message for you, which is the Page of Wands. So, what's your message to you? Why did they walk away? Eight of Cups, because this is a person who just ignored you. And then, that's it. And then, Knight of Cups, are they talking to someone else? Because it's a knight right there. And then, Ace of Wands, is there a chance for the two of you? Ace and a King, normally there's a turnaround, 360, I call it. Like, there's going to be a turnaround of events. Something that you don't expect. Mm-hmm. So now, let's see the element reading here. And then we'll see the overall energy of the relationship. Let's see. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sag. If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If you're dealing with a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. If you're dealing with an air sign, Lib uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And let's see now. So those are the future of the relationship. Let's see the overall energy of this connection. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of this video, extended reading down there. And also join us in our cleansing ceremony that we are doing in order for us to attract you know, the good things that is coming to us in 2023. Let's see here now. Ace of Wands. And I did focus on that card, right? The Ace of Wands right here, if you guys remember. So the Ace of Wands, it's 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 there. It's there. Okay. There. Okay. Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, we even asked the turnaround. Something is about to 360, which means it's true. Okay. Meaning turn things around. Ace of Wands is a card of a very fiery message. Like normally, this is like, like out of nowhere, some of the text. Now, this could have been an issue here because Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands, like someone could be just like, go, 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 go. I want this, I want that. You know, there's, there's no stopping. A lot of fire in this relationship, which means that it's easy for the two of you to have an argument or easy for the two of you to have a big fight. That's the Ace of Wands. Now, since this is the focus, meaning this is a new beginning, if this is the card right now for the two of you, because this is the whole energy of the read, then it only means that there can be a start over. But we don't know yet, okay? So link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. Next to this is how to join our cleansing uh, in the first full moon of uh, um, for 2023 that we're doing. Join me there. So check this out. guided um, healing meditation ceremony on the first full moon for 2023 this January I'm gonna put the link in the description box below or anywhere you can click right here I'll see you there